What's going on, everybody? Hope you all are having a fantastic day today. Now, today we're going to be checking out some more Modern Warfare. Of course, you guys already know the grind. We're rocking the AS Val. I can't wait until Cold War comes out. It's just, oh my god. I have so many rants coming out for this video game, I can't even count, man. <laughs> maybe I'll post them, maybe I won't. I'll think about it and we'll discuss it later. But today we're going to be talking about the actual paid-to-win method in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Now, if you watched my channel for a very long time, you know that... Personally, I don't think there's anything that's paid to win about Modern Warfare. I always thought that the microtransaction system was very fair when it came to this video game. Now, a paid to win game is like Call of Duty Black Ops 4, where they put a bunch of overpowered weapons into loot boxes and they make you gamble over and over and over again, having people dump hundreds of dollars into the system just to get one weapon while other people will possibly never get that weapon. Just like in Black Ops 3, the Peacekeeper. God, I played Black Ops 3 for the full year. The full year! And I, the only weapon I wanted out of that video game was a Peacekeeper. And God forbid, I couldn't even come close to getting it. From being a daily grinder, you guys see me, you guys see what I do. I play Call of Duty year in, year out. And I did not get the Peacekeeper once in Black Ops 3. For two years, actually. Not even the first year, for the second year, too, because I did play Black Ops 3 for a very long time. It's just ridiculous how the payment methods throughout Black Ops 3 and Black Ops 4 were. It just blew my mind. But I guess from being so, you know influenced heavily influenced by black ops 3 and black ops 4 it just really brought a bad taste in my mouth that this is what microtransaction is supposed to be like this is bad you know everything that happened in these games are bad and then modern warfare came out and they give us free maps they give us quote unquote free weapons and all this other stuff which in my personal opinion is good I love this microtransaction system. I've put money into this microtransaction system, regardless if I support Modern Warfare or not. I've told multiple people this, and I've said this in multiple videos in the past as well. I put money into this game, not to support the game, but to support the microtransaction system. If you put money into the microtransaction system, Activision is not going to think, Oh, you know, they put money in the microtransaction system, that must mean they love the game. No, they're thinking, oh, you know, they're putting money in the microtransaction system, the microtransaction system is working. You know, much better than it was in the past, so we're going to keep the microtransaction system. Now, they're going to keep the gameplay, as you can obviously tell in Cold War, the gameplay is completely different and much more superior when it comes to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. But the microtransaction system more than likely is going to transfer over from Modern Warfare straight to Cold War, and they're going to keep the same exact thing going on because Modern Warfare has made millions and billions of dollars on the daily basis from strictly just their microtransaction system. So clearly, something is going right here. So yes, I do love the microtransaction system in this game, but I do have to say, it is slightly paid to win. Now, they always add two weapons into every single battle pass when the game releases. And every single time, the two weapons are just nuts. Sometimes they're not. Sometimes we get, you know, a bad taste of weapons. But 99.9% .9 of the time, the weapons they release to us are broken. The Grawl, the Ram, the, the freaking Val, now this brand new sniper rifle that came out, the R700, all these guns are broken. And you know what they did in the past to all the other weapons? They nerfed them. Every overpowered weapon that has been released in Call of Duty Modern Warfare has been out for about a week, maybe two weeks, and then after the mass majority of the people get it for maybe a couple of days, or the people who, you know, bought through it and got to play for it for the full two weeks, after the majority of the people finally got it, then they nerf it to the dirt, and then nobody gets it. And this is paid to win. And you might not think it's paid to win, but realistically, it is. Infinity Ward is intentionally making these weapons completely broken, completely overpowered. And by doing that, they make everybody in the community want those specific weapons. And they have those weapons in the tier list. You don't complete a challenge to get the weapon. You don't do any of this stuff, which you can complete a challenge later on. But when the current battle pass is out, the only way that you can get the weapon is by grinding the battle pass. But at the same time, you could purchase tiers. Now, for me personally, I usually get the $20 edition of the Battle Pass every single time, which is basically the base version of the Battle Pass, but it skips you 20 tiers ahead. And actually, in Season 6, I spent $30 just so I can get the AS Val because I had a really good feeling about this weapon. And you know what? It's broken! Both the Sniper Rifle and the AS Val in this video game are broken. No surprise there, because like I said, all the other weapons in the past, the, the Finn LMG, the, the Ram, the Graw, every single rifle, LMG, sniper rifle, shoddy, that you could possibly think of that they added into the game has been broken. Like the VLK shotgun or whatever it's called, not completely broken, but once you put fire rounds on it, that was like the meta in Warzone for a few weeks. Literally, every gun that's been in the battle pass is OP in the first two weeks. And then once everybody coughs up their money because they're going to see people using it, 
They're going to see people who have spent money and got the gun early. And they're going to see that and be like, oh my god, I need that weapon. I need to play with that gun. So they're going to spend money. They're going to skip a bunch of tiers. They're going to be able to get the gun. And then everybody's going to be running around with the OP stuff. And then once they get the most money, the mass majority of the money out of all the consumers, they're going to nerf the guns into the dirt. Well, maybe not into the dirt, but they're going to nerf the guns so they're not completely overpowered and not everybody wants to use them anymore. The Ram, the Grawl, both those weapons have been nerfed. They're still very viable, but they're not as completely OP as launch. Here we are with the Val, extremely OP right now. Very good weapon. I guarantee it's going to catch a nerf. There's no possible way that Infinity Ward is not going to nerf the Val. So technically... Deep down, yes, the, the system is paid to win. Because Infinity Ward is intentionally making weapons overpowered in the first couple of weeks, so people will spend money in order to get the weapon early, and then they nerf them once they get all the cash. Literally, the only two weapons that I see right now in this video game are the Val and the new Sniper Rifle. Literally, the Sniper Rifle is extremely overpowered and everybody uses it. I cannot find one lobby, even outside the Season 6 Mosh Pit. Even if I go back to the regular playlist, everybody's using the Sniper Rifle. It's in every single game. It's almost like a full, full four to six people in the lobby using the sniper rifle. Why? Because it's oh freaking P. And I guarantee you, I guarantee in two weeks from now, or maybe even one week from now, nobody's going to be using that sniper rifle because it's been nerfed, completely nerfed, and nobody's going to want to touch it. Now, I could be really stretching here. You know, this, this might not even be true. You know, I'm just throwing some ideas out there to make you guys think a little bit. But it honestly makes sense. It really does. For some reason, though, they haven't made any of the SMGs overpowered. All the SMGs they released on day one have been absolute garbage. But literally, every sniper, every shotgun, every LMG, every assault rifle has been OP straight out the gates and then got nerfed a week or two down the road. It's just tradition right now for Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And like I said, it makes sense. I mean, Activision is a corporation that wants money. And what's the best way to make money in a Call of Duty video game? Buy weapons. Weapons are probably the best thing that you could release in the game besides maps. And the maps are obviously free in this video game. And the only way that you can get weapons, they put them in free for everybody to get in the battle pass. So the best way to make money off of this system is to make sure that the guns are extremely overpowered. If they make sure that the guns are overpowered and the devs intentionally make them like the best guns in the game, everybody's going to want them, everybody's going to pay for them, everybody's going to cough up all their cash to get them so they can get it before they actually get nerfed into the ground. This way, Activision can still make tons of money off of these weapons. And at the same time, the game isn't going to be broken because after a week or two, Infinity War is going to nerf the guns anyways, and they won't be the most OP meta in the game, and everything will go back to normal. But having these weapons overpowered with every new season that comes out is the best possible way to get more cash, because everybody in the world wants an overpowered weapon. That's just what makes video games fun. Tell me what video game you've played where it's an overpowered weapon, and you don't want to use it. I mean, sometimes we can all come to a gentleman's agreement where we just say, you know, don't use that or don't do this or anything like that, but the majority of the time, the overpowered stuff is the most fun stuff. That's usually what everybody tends to lean towards in every single Call of Duty game. I mean, before this kind came out or all the other guns like the Grawl and the Ram and all that stuff, everybody just stuck with the M4 and the MP5. That, that was the meta. That's what everybody used. The most overpowered guns in the game, so that's what everybody went to. Same thing with all these new DLC weapons. They make them the most overpowered guns in the game. People will cough up tons of money to skip through the battle pass to get them right away, and they'll use the crap out of them. But I want you guys to understand that even though I'm making this rant, it doesn't mean that I hate the microtransaction system in this game. You know, even though that, you know, I think this is slightly paid to win, I will take this 110% over any of the microtransaction systems that we've seen in the past. Because at the end of the day, even though these weapons are OP, and it encourages people to spend money to get these weapons right away so they don't have to wait before they get nerfed, we still get the weapons, regardless. Whether it's before the nerf or after the nerf, everybody can get them. All it takes is just some of your time to grind out the video game. You know, that, that's all it takes. So, at the end of the day, the microtransaction system is very fair. I want this to stay forever. But the developers do need to do a little bit better work at balancing out their weapons. Because it's either one of two things. Either they don't test weapons at all, they literally have zero playtime with them, they just make the weapon and they put them in the game. Or, they're doing this on purpose, like I said, to make it pay to win. They make them extremely overpowered, so everybody sees how good they are. Everybody spends money to get them in the battle pass, and everybody just overuses it until the developers finally decide to nerf them. I don't know which one is the true fact here. You know, it's, it's really hard to tell because I don't want to believe that the developers are that incompetent that they don't even test out their own weapons. But at the same time, I don't want to blame them on making this game pay to win when the microtransaction system in this game is so perfect. And honestly, it's so good. I don't want to throw any dirt on their name or their reputation 
and, you know, give them any influence or any, you know, idea to change back to what we had before. I don't want anything that involves loot boxes or extremely paid to win weapons like it was in Black Ops 4 and Black Ops 3 where you had to gamble to get the weapons and, you know, put hundreds of dollars into the system just to get one thing. I don't like that. You know, at the end of the day, this is the best microtransaction for us to have. But they need to have better balancing. They need to actually try their weapons. There should be no need that the 10-rounder can shoot through thick walls. How is that not tested? You're telling me that a developer didn't put on a 10-round mag and notice that you could shoot from one point of the map all the way to the other spawn through every surface? You're telling me that went through playtesting? It, it, it legitimately does not seem logical at all. And it makes me think that this game is slightly paid to win. But guys, do me a massive favor. Make sure you go down in the comment section and leave your opinions down below. Do you guys think this game is paid to win? Or do you think the developers just don't test out their video game? Personally, I think the game is just slightly paid to win. I really do think that Activision is purposely making sure that the weapons are released overpowered. So people spend money to get the weapons early. And then they nerf them back to normal to make everything balanced later on. After they get all the cash from the community. But guys, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you leave a like. By all means, if you hate it, leave a dislike. Also, if you're brand new and enjoy the content, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification button. Also, want to chat with me, there's two ways to do so. I have a Twitter and a Discord. Both those links are down in the description. And also, if you want to catch me live streams on video games, I do that over on Twitch. Link to that is in the description as well. But guys, thank you so much for tuning in. See you on the next one. Peace out.